everybody. Dale Crow here. It's Monday morning. It's a cold, crisp winter morning and I hope you're feeling nice and warm wherever you're at. So today we're going to start off with our very first question but let me first introduce to you my compadre and Joe Kaczynski. How are you? Hey Daryl, how are you this morning? Great to see that smiling face as always. Even though it's winter and we're in Massachusetts. Oh my God. Man. That almost reminds me of a Massachusetts song by the Bee Gees. <laughs> That's true, man. Uh, but I, I will spare you the song. You know, there is a God. The more I think about that statement, I really realize how truly blessed we are. So, what's the first question we have on the line? Well, the first question is from Debbie Adams. Debbie me. Adams? I know her. She's out in Colorado, and every time I go out there, we have such a grand time in class with her and all her friends. She's such a lady, you know, Joe. She just makes me want to grab right out in the song and say, She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, she's a lady. Talking about that little lady, and the lady is mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, that was You're really nothing, a Mr. wonderful tribute, but I don't believe that she had that in mind, Daryl. Oh? I mean, not for anything, she really didn't have that in mind. She sort of uh, had a couple of song requests, though. Oh, what are they? One of them was a dedication strictly to you, and I'll just do like one bar of it. Funny face, I love you. Funny face, I need you. And we'll leave that at that. And the second request was for a song that we did for her once called Rock and Roll Lullaby. So oh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and get that going. No, 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 no. She doesn't want you to sing it, Daryl. She doesn't? She'd like to hear the velvet voice of one of the most extremely unique singers to ever grant, uh, walk the planet. Oh. That would be me. So I'll give you just one chorus of it, and we'll take it from there. She was just 16 and all alone when I came to be. We grew up together. My mom and child. Okay, so um, thank you so much for that <laughs> request by, for Joe to sing to you, Debbie, and um, for the silly face for me, but you're still a lady. Now what's I got some really bad news. Oh, what's that? The Debbie Adams that you are referring to yes. is not this Debbie Adams. This Debbie Adams happens to live in Muncie, Indiana. So it's a different Debbie? It's a different Debbie. So Debbie different. Just thought I'd bring that up in passing. Okay. And so what after did all your hard work? All my singing. All your singing. But I'll well, bet Debbie, Debbie, wouldn't, Debbie I wouldn't want to clarify it as all your singing. Uh, <laughs> the production that you set forth. We'll we'll leave it at that. Uh, okay. Really for the wrong Debbie. But I couldn't stop you. I I just you were on such a roll. So what does Debbie Adams wishes? Well, this is a question dealing with acrylics. Acrylics? She's been painting with acrylics, and she keeps watching the video tips and so forth, but she still has this major drying issue. It keeps drying way too quick. She's wondering if there's any specific formula that you can give her that will help with the drying process to keep her paints wet enough, long enough, 
I think the best way to do, to answer that question, and I have to say this, Debbie, that's a very intelligent question because you see, there isn't any special formula that you can magically uh, utilize that's going to keep your acrylic pet paints uh, wet for the whole time you're painting. What happens is you have to understand exactly why acrylic paints dry and then make adjustments based on what you see. Now there are certain paints that have been manufactured in such a way as to prolong the drying of the paint, to prolong and mediums that prolong the drying of the painting process. So the combination, making the paints last longer and making the painting process last longer. But you see, we have to really understand why paints dry fast. And they do this because of evaporation. All right, let's talk about this. I want you to take a look at a little clip that we did when we were showing you about how to blend cloud. And what I want you to see is how I set up the palette. So let's go back down to the palette. Now, do you see that tray that's right there and that paper towel I have? That paper towel has been saturated with water and the paint had been sprayed lightly with a special spray mist that produces a very, very fine spray. And that keeps the water on top of the acrylics and the paper towel holds the water to the bottom of the acrylic. So air isn't really causing the acrylics to evaporate at that point in time. Now what I'd like to do is take you over to my easel where I've set up a special uh, chart that I want to utilize to show you why we go through these steps in laying out the paints and then in the process. Okay, so in step one, what we've done is made sure the paints stay wet. Now in number two, what we have to understand is that when I, let's just draw this, this is your canvas surface, okay? And when I put some paints on here, okay, there it is. That's the paint that's sitting on the canvas surface. Now if I'm oil, okay, the way oil dries is it dries at the surface and goes up. That's why wet, uh, paint will stay wet for a long, long time with oil because the very last portion of that paint that dries is right here at the surface. Okay? And depending upon the uh, types of mediums you use and the types of paint, you can find that this uh, oil paint will dry uh, anywhere from one day to six months. Okay? Now, and it also depends upon temperature, okay, and humidity. Both of those affect the speed at which this dries. Very humid will, of course, slow down the process. Very cold will slow down the process as well. Hot temperature and low humidity will speed it up. And, but the average is uh, about a week. Okay, about a week. Now, it continuously dries, for, so it'll take, you know, constantly be dry. But it's a week before when you touch it up here that you're not moving the paint around. It's, it's solid as far as you can tell. Now, that's with oil. With acrylics, what happens, remember I said it's all about evaporation. Evaporation occurs here. But rather than the paints going ahead and drying solidly from the bottom out, you form a skin over the top. And when you touch it, it feels dry. And that takes about, on normal traditional um, acrylics, anywhere from 0 to 10 to 20 minutes. Okay? And it just depends on which uh, acrylic manufacturer 
uh, you're using their paints, how fast it will dry. It does depend a bit on the temperature and the humidity, uh, but you're generally safe in the first 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you're going to find that it gets dry, and it's almost like cement after that, because you have a solid, solid, solid surface here of skin. So, how do you keep the skin from forming? Because you see, between the skin and the surface, the paint is still going to remain wet. And that's one of the reasons that acrylic levels is because after the skin dries, then all of the uh, paints gel underneath. Okay, with the skin dry, what you like to do as an artist is sometimes reawaken that, like dissolve the skin so you can start to blend the colors underneath. But so far, that doesn't work well until you take the fineness spray bottle. And what happens is by constantly spraying the paint in the area that you're working with, you can, depending upon the frequency, now start to move into hours. Okay, so one, one, two, or three, these are minutes, and these are hours. So, the second thing you can do is go ahead and say, all right, I can't work fast enough in 10 minutes in order to get done what I need on that particular area. I need more time. So there's some things that people typically will do in order to allow the paints to last a little longer. One is they'll uh, put a softener, if you will, uh, into a uh, pile of paint and they mix it in and that slows it down. And that may get you up to one hour. But coupled with that, you need to be constantly using a fine mist sprayer and spraying the surface here, okay? And so when you spray the surface, what happens is that it prevents the skin from forming. So that's the key. You need to prevent that skin from forming up here on top of the acrylic surface. And, and you can get a good one hour out of your painting section by doing that. So what I'm constantly doing, I use this uh, Bichroma Atler, and I believe the proper name is a teller, is a fine mist water spray. And it really, really comes out very fine. And that's what you need, and that's going to keep the uh, skin from forming. And you go ahead and you blend and you blend and you add paints and blend and you can uh, get the two colors mixing together or multiple colors and it works great. However, what you're going to find is that as you approach this time, now for you, depending on the parts of the country and the temperature and everything, it, uh, it may be a little bit faster or it may be extend beyond an hour. But what happens is if you're going much beyond this, be sure to be touching, okay? If you feel a solid, a solid skin, then you're starting to lose the battle. If it feels tacky, okay, which means it's almost leaving footprints, if you touch it, you could start to feel it uh, uh, pull away on your finger, then that's the kind of feeling you want to see. But if it starts to move from tacky to a skin, then there are uh, some companies, and that's not a lot of them, but just some of them. Chroma has to be one of the best that I've seen in this area. They have what you call unlocking formula. Now, what this is, does, essentially, uh, if you were a chemist, you would not explain it this way, but you would take this unlocking formula and you would put it into another fineness spray. So what I do, just as a, a sake of uh, easy identification, I use the blue bottle for water and I use the clear bottle for the unlocking solution. And what I do is spray it, okay? I'll spray it two, three times. And what it does is it converts the skin that's starting to form from tacky to a skin, it'll convert it back to tacky. Use a little more water, it starts to do it again, then you go back and use the unlocking formula. And what that does is it takes 
and allows you to extend that time that the acrylics are wet for up to two, maybe even three hours. Okay, so let me review very quickly how you can keep your paintings wet. So Debbie, the key to keeping your acrylic paintings wet, make sure your paints are wet, make sure your painting process keeps the paints wet. Now, one of the best ways you can facilitate this, as we've shown, is making sure that you're constantly spraying the areas you're working on. So plan your painting. Say, okay, I'm gonna work on this particular section, and you work it until you're done, then you move to the next, and then to the next. In this manner, you can keep that painting wet the entire time it takes you to paint it, no matter how long it takes. I'm Daryl Crow, and I'd like to invite each and every one of you to send me your question. And we want to make sure that you can get all of the valuable information that you need in order to be the best possible artist you can be. I'm Daryl Crow, and this is Joe Kaczynski. And together, we both know you can paint. She was just sixteen and all alone when I came to be. We grew up together, my mom and child and me. Now things were bad, but she was scared, but whenever I cried, she'd numb my fears and dry my tears. Rock and roll lullaby. Kids sing shine na 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 It'll be alright. Shine na 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 Just hold on tight. Sing it to me, mama. My, 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 my. Sweet and clear, oh mama, let me hear that rock and roll lullaby. We made it through the lonely days. But Lord, the nights were long And we dream of better mornings For a mama sang a song Now I can't recall the words at all It don't make sense to try Cause I just knew lots of love came through In that rock and roll lullaby She'd sing shine na 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 It'll be alright shine na 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 Just hold on tight I can hear you mama My, 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 my Nothing moves my soul like the sound of that Shine na 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 na
Alright.